Welcome back to the series where I tackle the world's most controversial game fish. Today, we'll be talking about a truly hated fish being the long-nosed gar. While these fish do have their fans, a large amount of anglers adamantly hate these fish, viewing them as a nuisance. So we'll be sure to go through their characteristics, why they are hated, and my general thoughts on them. Long-nosed gar are members of the Lepisosteus family, which is an incredibly ancient fish family being dated back to the late Jurassic period. They prefer to live in slower moving rivers, ponds, and other bodies of waters where they can float motionless. They also prefer temperatures between 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. These are top level aquatic predators eating mostly on smaller forage fish and crustaceans. They hunt simply by laying motionless, waiting for prey to pass by them, where they ambush them without any warning. This is why their bodies are so torpedo-shaped, with them having larger snouts, even when compared to other species of gar. Gars have some interesting features, including their eggs having a potent poison, them having a tough protective ganoid scales, similar to bichers like we talked about, and with them having the ability to take gulps of air at the surface. In terms of habitat distribution, you can find these fish in North and Central America. These gar have a much broader range compared to other species of gar, as they are the only species of gar that live as far north in the state of New York. Your average long-nosed gar is gonna be between two and seven pounds, but larger individual long-nosed gar can grow into the 20 pound range. The world record long-nosed gar weighed in at over 48 pounds. Other than that, these guys live a lifespan of about 20 years. Honestly, the reasons for the long-nosed gar hate are pretty simple. Most people just hate them for their teeth. <laughs> See, these fish have rows of small razor sharp teeth they use to clamp down onto prey. When anglers don't take certain precautions, they are known to cut straight through fishing line. Their teeth also pose a challenge for fishermen when it comes to unhooking and handling them. Unlike with a lot of other fish where you can just hold onto them in their mouths, gar need to be held in different ways. A lot of fishermen have also been bit while handling or unhooking these gar. Because these fish primarily feed on smaller fish, many common fishing lures such as topwater lures, crankbaits, and spinners are all excellent at targeting long-nosed gar, which are lures anglers often use to target other, more desirable species of fish. Really though, to avoid this, anglers should take extra precaution when using gar-like lures in waters where long-nosed gar are present. Simply by having a pike leader. Pike leaders greatly if not completely remove the chance that a gar, or obviously a pike, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. cuts off fishing line during the fight. Finally, many people hate the gar as they are top level predators that primarily eat other species of fish. Now this shouldn't be a problem as that's how most fish species work, but since they are higher on the food chain, they eat other desirable species of fish including bass, panfish, and even bullhead. This makes many of those species-specific fishermen angry, which honestly isn't fair as these fish have been allowed far longer than we have been or than those fish have been. Plus, that's just nature for you. I am a big long-nosed gar and just gar fan in general, as these are some of the most ancient and cool fish on the planet. They also share some similarities to the pike family, which if you didn't know, are my favorite family of fish. Both fish families have long torpedo shaped bodies they use to ambush prey, are top level predators, and have teeth. So that's gonna give them some bonus points. Either way, they are a really prehistoric, cool looking fish species, which I do think even some gar haters have to admit that they certainly look powerful. They also are a fish that I very rarely see, 
is they are far more common down south. Like I said earlier, they are in my state of New York, but only in very selective areas. I've only seen them a handful of times. So I'm sure that's a big reason as to why I think they are so amazing. I will say I understand why fishermen don't like these fish, but I don't think it's a justified reason for hurting or straight up killing them, which many anglers do. These fish play an important part in the ecosystem as they eat many of the smaller, weaker fish playing an important population control. See, if there are too many small fish, it can lead to overpopulation and even stagnation of growth in that population. Since resources are shared amongst more fish, the fish in turn get less big. So long nose gar are a great way to avoid this issue. These fish are also very powerful fighters, providing a great amount of sport, which few people actually talk about for some reason. Overall, I love the long nose gar. They fight hard, play an important aspect in ecosystems, and have been on this planet far longer than we have. So for those reasons, whether you love them or hate them, they have a place in the world of fishing. So what do you think of the long nose gar? Are they a trash fish or do people not give them enough credit? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Next episode in this series will be all about the northern snakehead, so be sure to stay tuned for that. If you enjoy, be sure to check out the Patreon, where you and other members get end card shoutouts and other awesome perks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.